So, just like yesterday's video I did on Supergirl Season 3, I'm going to be doing a video about all the news coming out of Comic-Con regarding The Flash Season 4. Now, like Supergirl, or unlike Supergirl I should say, The Flash didn't get as much news as Supergirl Season 3, so um, this is going to be a much more of a shorter video, but I feel I may have missed quite a bit of news, so if I have missed anything then make sure you tell me in the comment section below so you can help everyone else out, because I feel I have missed some stuff out. So let's get into the video. So first off, if you saw the trailer for The Flash Season 4 coming out of Comic-Con, you would have seen the bit at the end where it was Barry Allen running through um, Central City where Cisco is getting him out of the Speed Force. And if you looked closely, if you had a good eye, uh, then you would have noticed that the suit Barry was wearing was not his typical suit. He was wearing the new suit, and most specifically the suit that we saw in 2024. So this is confirmed that he is getting a new suit in Season 4, and it's going to be created and manifested within the Speed Force, which is very exciting. Very exciting news also that Danny Trejo has joined the cast of The Flash as Gypsy's father, aka The Breacher. This is going to provide a lot of good storylines, I think, to do with Gypsy and also, because I think Gypsy was actually one of the best additions in The Flash Season 3. I really love her character. And also the fact that is he going to be disappointed with his daughter's life choices and how she's going to be handling Cisco and things like that. I think it's going to be a really good, interesting storyline. And Danny Trejo is going to be such a funny actor to portray that. Also, The Thinker was finally cast, and it is Neil Sandilands, who, if you don't know, is an actor from The 100, which is, of course, another CW show, um, so that makes sense. Um, but I'm pretty happy with this casting. I mean, I don't actually know anything about the guy. I've never actually seen him. I haven't watched The 100, although I have been planning on it. Um, but, yeah, I'm happy about this, and, yeah, it's, I'm sure it's fine, and I'm just more excited to see The Thinker in action on screen. There was also a casting for the mechanic, who is kind of like the thinker's lackey, the thinker's kind of little sidekick, the Cisco, if you will. And uh, that is Kim Engelbrecht, I think that's how you say it. Um, so again, I don't really know anything about her, um, but I'm sure she's uh, she'll be a good actress, a good addition. And um, I think it's quite interesting that we're going to give the villain a lackey. Um, I do think we've seen that for a while, so I think that's quite an interesting uh, dynamic to bring to the show and to bring to the Flash. Also, finally, I'm not sure if this is really news as such, as we all kind of assume this is going to happen, but on the panel, um, Tom Cavanaugh, who is of course the actor who plays the variety of Wellses upon The Flash, he confirmed that we will be getting a new Harrison Wells and maybe even multiple Harrison Wellses next season, um, which that's fine with me. I think Tom Cavanaugh is actually the best actor on The Flash and because of all of his roles he can play. So if we're going to get multiple versions of Harrison Wells, that's never a complaint with me. So tell me in the comment section below what you think about all this news. I think it's quite exciting. Like I say, I think I've missed quite a bit. So make sure you tell me if I have missed some stuff. Um, also, I think this news is very exciting going to season four, especially I think the Flash really needs to kind of get back its stride after season three. As season three was not bad at all, but it was just quite uh, a step down, I felt, in comparison to the first two seasons. So hopefully season three um, will improve season four.